Everyone hates on the take-along mail vans, and I agree, they friggin' suck. But you know what else people don't talk about? The mail vans for Trackmaster. Like, I'm sorry, why are they brown? What the hell is mail Sodor? It's Sodor mail, what the f- And when they finally redesign it, it's sold in some random truck pack? Why? Don't get me started on Trackmaster Revolution. It's always bugged me how badly the mail vans were treated. It's the signature item Percy pulls. They're in the bloody theme song. Which brings us to All Engines Go. This three pack of Percy with a mail van is actually accurate to the show. It's big, long, and while that hole in the roof is kind of ugly, it is there in the show. But what's great about the reboot vans is that they look very similar to the CGI ones. So I wasted $40 and bought two packs to see if I could use them for my Tomy trains. After opening the pack, I tested how it looked with a regular Tomy engine, and it's a little big. But to be honest, it's not the worst. The CGI mail vans are pretty big. Not this big, but I'd rather use a mail van that's a little too tall over one that is just completely inaccurate. I decided to go through and make plans of how to make these vans a little more like the CGI series. There were three things I needed to do. First part was to cover that hole, which was going to be the harder part. The other two things were just to swap out the wheels with CGI ones and paint the buffers black. Very easy to do. Luckily for me, I could unscrew the van into all the necessary pieces I needed. I planned to cover the hole with some sturdy electrical tape, and that's when I encountered my first problem. Sinking. Sinking. Since there was no support to hold the tape up, it just kind of sags down. I tried using blue tech to hold it up, but that would just make bumps. There is definitely a better way to do this. Probably with some kind of clay, but I didn't have the time or resources, so I needed another solution. I just need something in the middle to prop up the tape so it doesn't sag all the way. But what? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> I decided to just use some dead batteries to hold it up. Don't ask why I have like 50 dead batteries. I put a double A with two triple A batteries inside, held them in place with blue tack, and tried putting the tape over them now. It sagged a little still, but it was less noticeable and you couldn't push the tape down easily, so I was going to roll with it. I painted the roofs black like the CGI ones and they were looking much better. I now had a new problem though. The batteries were visible through the windows. So I just decided to block off all the windows with more tape, which actually works cause you can't even see through them in the show. Once the paint dried, I placed them on top of the bodies. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Now it's time to replace the wheels. Since the mail vans are larger trucks, I couldn't use the stock standard wheels because they were too short, so I had to take wheels from Kenji's coaches to use instead. Once I got those on, I went to go paint the buffers black, and voila! The mail vans were done. There are definitely still some issues with this custom. The roof is still a little messy with the sagging, and you can see the tape lines if you look for them. I'd like to improve it someday, but for now, I think it looks okay. I would rather use these than the other van, so that's a win in my books. Well, my full of surprises, they ought to say of me.